Welcome back, everybody. I'm Harry Langdon. I'm a celebrity photographer, and to the topic of today's segment is going to be George Clooney. And so what I'd like to do is tell you a lot more about what led up to the shooting session, about the shooting session itself, and the success of the session. First of all, I didn't know who George Clooney was at the time. And when Rosemary Clooney, who was one of my good clients for quite a few years, called, she, she said, uh, would you do me a favor? Would you photograph my nephew, George? And uh, he's really a really good looking guy and, and it'd be really a great favor to do. So uh, these are some of the shots I've done on Rosemary in the past. And some of you may know who she is, but, uh, and so I thought, well, if Rosemary wants me to do her a favor, I'll go for it because we're kind of careful about who we photograph and we want to make sure they're going someplace. So, so we figured that George is a, is a happening guy and he's got this new part, I guess it was ER on television. And so we booked the shooting session. And what I like to do before sessions is talk to my clients, at least on the phone. And I said, George, so tell me a little bit more about what your interest. He said, well, I got myself a new motorcycle. Can I bring it on the shooting session? I said, yeah, cool. And, and he said, what clothes shall I bring? I said, well, bring casual clothes and bring, you know, talk to your agent, what do you need and all this and something kind of dressy. So anyway, so time goes by, about a week went by and we're in my studio at Crescent and Wilshire Boulevard in Beverly Hills. And so we heard this rumbling outside the front door. We thought, oh, that must be George arriving, okay? So we flung open the doors. He brought in the motorcycle and uh, propped it up in the corner. And we started doing these shots of George as he, sort of like he is, you know, off camera, off stage. And he's kind of a preppy, preppy look. Can you believe this is George? Now, the sh shots I'm going to be showing you were all taken on the same day. And so this is the casual side of George. And so I said, yeah, George, let's start this way. And maybe later on, we'll do something that's kind of different, you know. I said, no problem. Now, the, George has a talent of taking on a personality that I may try to conjure him into. And so... We began with this kind of a preppy UCLA college student and um, you can see shorts and all this. And so the segment of the shooting went you know, really smooth. And, and so, but at, at this point I thought, these pictures are kind of boring at this point, you know, and his agent's expecting Harry Langdon to come up with some really unique shots on George, maybe give him a little different look. Okay. so. As the shooting transpired, I started thinking, what can I do with George that would be kind of a, a different look that perhaps he as, a, as an accomplished actor could take on another sort of a personality. So I started thinking of this man, uh, Tyrone Power, had, was a real dashing, gigolo kind of a guy in movies and very, very successful. So I thought, well, We'll do these shots of George in his, with his motorcycle, really a handsome looking motorcycle. And George felt real confident, you know, with his motorcycle and all that. A lot of guys need support sometimes when, when shooting sessions. So um, anyway, I thought George was sort of getting there. We got his hair back and, and smoothed out. And I had a groomer there, uh, a men's a groomer, they call him, does hair and, and makeup. And so this is another shot of George and the motorcycle. And so I started thinking, now I've got to begin transforming George into this dashing, kind of like a romantic leading man kind of a guy, which he didn't appear like on these other ones, the, the uh, UCLA uh, student, okay? So we had to take him from here over to here. And so it's done by certain things in conversation and all that, because right now George looks sort of bored, frankly. And so I started thinking of different parts that maybe he, he, uh, he could be good for, good for, like foreign intrigue and, and parts in films, you know, where they have a lot of action, action movies and all that. And so when we, the process of transforming George, 
I thought, well, how about this Humphrey Bogart kind of a, a look, this dashing guy for foreign intrigue and all that. And I remember a movie called Casablanca really well. And so I, uh, I asked George, what other clothes do you have in your, <laughs> in your collection? And he said, well, I happened to have brought along a white linen suit. I went, oh, perfect. It was just perfect to fit in with this persona that I wanted, you know, the foreign intrigue and all that. And so gradually I transformed George, both with the hairstyle and with the seating and conversation. And, and George, George was a little skeptical of what I was up to. You know, I thought, I've never done this kind of a role before. It's been ER and other you know, parts on TV. And so I thought, just for me, I, I sometimes will tell guys, just for me, let's do this shot. And if you don't like it, you can throw it away, okay? So it'd be no problem. So that's to make them feel secure about that. And so we went on with the shooting session and it's starting to get better. He's sitting in this beautiful chair and he was, you know, really kind of like the suave, kind of a guy, romantic leading man. I thought, we've done it, we've done it. We've gone from like old Tyrone here over to the new George Clooney. And so this, this shot was taken during the, one of the last ones I shot it in black and white. And so if you notice, I kind of captured that black and white intriguing kind of a look that uh, I thought, you know, if nothing else, it looks really good in my portfolio. And so I heard afterward that George was not real thrilled with the shooting. And because I, I contact agents, they said, well, George thought you made him look older. You know, I said, well, yeah. And so go, looking back on it now, I'm thinking that George gradually became this kind of guy in his film roles. And so I was, did a session that was quite prophetic. And so I enjoyed doing that, working with actors and getting them to, uh, to maybe transform themselves and become maybe a person that they've never tried before. And it's all done through conversation and various acting techniques and things like that. But later, that. George put this in his office, isn't that right? Yeah, huh, yeah. I had heard through the grapevine that George blew this picture up and put it in his office, and it was on the show called Ellen. And, and so I, I feel comfortable that eventually he got to like it. I've had that happen frequently where I'll do a session and I'll transform an actor into becoming somebody that maybe is there a latent personality in them and try to bring that out. So anyway, it was another really good session and so I look forward to bringing you more photo sessions and uh, I would, and I always enjoy hearing your comments. Uh, it gives me an insight on what you're enjoying and uh, I try to reply to your comments. And so I really like it when you also uh, give me a thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe to my channel and it makes me feel good, okay? So I'm really looking forward to my next episode on my channel and have a wonderful day, okay? Bye everybody.